Giving customers a quote is a crucial first step for many jobs, but it's time consuming. There can be a lot of back and forth with the client, helping them understand what they're looking at and what their options are. We wanted to take your quotes to the next level, help you win work easier and faster. Introducing proposals. Let's begin by checking out how a proposal appears to your customer. It's a completely online, fresh experience, like a custom web page you've built just for them. Proposals are similar to normal quotes, but they make it easy to visually, clearly, and professionally present the work you're going to do for a client. You can add multiple text sections. You can add photos and files directly to the proposal, as well as standard material sections with fixed items. And you can make your proposals flexible and let your customers choose between different options, offering different qualities of items, scopes of service, or simply different colors or styles. You can also have optional sections with add-on items or extra services. Add as many flexible sections as you need to give the customer choice. Each section has a subtotal so the customer can easily get a cost breakdown. Once they've made their selections and want to go ahead, they can accept, which then shows the proposal as accepted. A proposal doesn't have to be this detailed or complicated either. You could use it just to add optional services like this, or to add some photos or a PDF of an item, or make use of sections to break up the proposal into different stages or areas. Offering your customers this kind of experience and flexibility does a lot of things. It's easier for them to understand, which makes it easier and faster for them to make a decision on their own. It gives them choice, allowing them to steer the buying decision to suit their budget and preference. And it gives you the opportunity to deliver more value and increase the job's profit by letting the customer select optional extras. So how do you make a proposal? You create them in the online dashboard with a job action. You can choose to start from a previous proposal or from a blank template. So if you've done a similar proposal before, pick that, make any changes you need, and you can be done within minutes. But let's look at a blank template, which starts with a text section and a material section. We wanted to make creating proposals intuitive and simple. So we're introducing a whole new interface to see proposals the way your customer will see it as you build it. First, we give the proposal a title. To add text, you can just click and type. So we'll add a title and text to this section. Instead of manually writing the text here, you can use the Smart Writing Helper by clicking Auto Write. To add a material or service, click here and find them in the same way you normally would. If we want, we can also name this material section by clicking here. To add text, material or gallery sections, you click this plus icon. So we'll add another text section and then a gallery section to add a photo we took of the client's property. Then we'll add another material section. When we do this, a subtotal is automatically added to each material section. If you want a section to offer a client a choice between multiple line items or present the items as optional extras, you can set that on the right side here. So we'll quickly add a multi-choice section here, then some optional services. You can rearrange the sections by dragging and dropping in any order you want. Now, if you're creating a proposal for a big job, you might have more than one person working on it. So we're introducing live collaboration. This means multiple team members can have the proposal open and make changes at once. Let's get some help adding the final few sections to this proposal. As they are making the edits, you can see it all happening live, allowing you all to work together and get the proposal done fast. Every change you make is automatically saved, so there's no need for a save button. You can open, edit, and close without worrying about losing any work. Make a mistake, simply hit Ctrl Z to undo it. Even if you accidentally remove an entire section, you can restore it. When it's ready to go, you can send the proposal via email or SMS right here. Or you can attach it to an email as a smart attachment, which will come through to their customer with a button to view their proposal online. Once a customer accepts, the materials in the proposal, including the options they selected, 
are transferred to the quotes and invoicing tab in the job card, ready to be invoiced. But what if the customer accepts and then wants to make changes? Well, you can just resend the proposal for approval, simply revert the job back to a quote, update it and send it again. We're really excited to see how you use proposals to streamline and elevate the quoting process for you and your customers.